Zach from my consult and since 2003, we have actually been helping 2,000 over businesses simplify their accounting processes. So if you would like to support us today, just like and subscribe, alright? Okay, so today we'll be actually looking into a question one of our viewer actually asked us recently. So she actually asked us, how can I set different price categories inside SQL accounting for different groups of customers, alright? So there are actually multiple ways or few ways where we can actually set different price group for different groups of customers okay so the first thing you need to do is you need to come here to stock come here to stock price tag so we can actually create as many price tags as you want so in this example we have dealer retail and wholesale all right okay so once we have done that all you just need to do next is to go to customer come to maintain customer okay so we take the first customer say a home okay we press edit and now you can see there's actually a price tag here so let's say for example a home is a wholesale okay then we're done we just press save okay and then let's say we choose another customer c art example here edit and then we said this is a retail all right okay done save all right so the final step you need to do is you come to stock here you come to stock item Okay, so let's say we take this chair, premium PU ladder, right? We press edit here, and then here we come to customer price, okay? So we just press plus here, we say example, now the price here, retail price is 700. So we said, okay, for a retailer, okay? You can say for one quantity, you can put the price here as 680 ringgit, okay? Or you can even do things like um, 700 and with a 10% discount okay so apart from that you can even put a date range so if they buy for the month example for the month of March then this price is applicable after that the price will go back to normal okay the next one then you can say okay if it's a dealer so let's say we put a uh, wholesale okay so for one unit they buy it at 700 and with a 15% discount okay so once we're done we just press save okay BOM01 black all right, so now let's test out this pricing category, right? So come to sales, we come to invoice, we press new, select your customer, say a home. So when you select this product, right? So we select this BOM01 black. Sure, you can see there's a 700 with a 15% discount. If, for example, we select CR, okay? So we delete off this item again, press plus. And then we select this item. You see, the discount will automatically change to 10%. Okay, so of course, however, even though we set this price, we can come in here and we can still adjust the discount if the access right is given to the user. Okay. All right, so in the second method that we would like to show you, right, is where a price is only specific for one customer. All right. So we cancel this, okay. We come back to stock item here. We come to maintain stock item and we use the same item, okay? This black gaming chair, press edit. So what happens here, right? Instead of we selecting your price tag, what we do is we select your company. So let's say example, Dream Villa Furniture, because this is a close friend of the customer, then we put this as, this is only 500 ringgit, okay? special price so save then what happens is now let's test this pricing category we come back to sales we come to invoice new okay select your customer dream villa furniture and if we select this same item say example black chair trader unit price becomes 500 all right all right so this is actually how easy it is to implement price tagging for different groups of customers in your sql accounting so if you like what we do and you have a topic you like us to cover, do leave a comment below. Thanks.